the Mass. Prepare yourselves well for it. Do not watch it with a cup of coffee in hand. Read the Mass readings to prepare yourselves. Think what you are to thank the Lord for and what to offer to Him this Mass. Remember, you are praying this Eucharist with many other fellow Catholics. During the Mass Stay in reverent gesture throughout the Mass. Pray with the whole family. Join in prayers, response, and singing. At the time of communion, make a spiritual communion. After the Mass, take some moments of silence to read again the scriptural readings and reflect.
Panginoong Heso Kristo, sa iyong pangangalaga sa lahat ng mga frontliners. Sa panahon ng pandemya, kami ay lubos na nagpapasalamat. Ang tunay na diwa ng iyong pagsilang ay ang pagbibigay ng iyong sarili para sa aming kaligtasan. Gaya ng mga manners na kumakalinga sa may sakit sa panahong hindi makapag-aruga ang pamilya. Sila ang iyong mapagpagaling na mga kamay. Sila ang iyong mapagmahal na puso, ang daluyan ng iyong awa at habag. Naway bigyan mo sila ng kagalakan, lakas at kaginhawaan sa mga araw na sila rin ay napapagod at nawawala ng pag-asa. Dahil ikaw o Jesus ang tunay nilang inaalagaan at pinagsisilbihan. Amen. Announcements. Our schedule of Simbangabi Masses are the following. Anticipated Simbangabi starting on December 15 at 7 in the evening, except on December 20, which will be at 7.30 in the evening. Dawn Masses starting on December 16 will be at 5.30 in the morning. We again knock at your hearts to help us give a Christmas gift to our Lava Parish Program beneficiaries through our yearly Stars of Grace campaign. You may approach our booth near the guard post going to Greenbelt 4 and our chapel office for your donation. An online facility is also available in our chapel website for those who may not be able to drop by. Let us all kneel for the Christmas Novena. Our Lord and King is drawing near. O come, let us adore Him. Our Lord and King is drawing near. O come, let us adore Him. Rejoice, daughter of Zion, and exalt, daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, the Lord comes, and there will be a great light in that day, and the mountains shall drop down sweetness, the hills shall flow with milk and honey, for in that day the great prophet will come, and he will renew Jerusalem. Our Lord and King is drawing near. O come, let us adore him. Behold, the Godman of the house of David will come to seat upon the royal throne, and you will see him, and your heart will rejoice. Our Lord and King is drawing near. O come, let us adore him. Behold, the Lord our protector will come, the Holy One of Israel, wearing a crown upon his royal brow, and he will reign from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Our Lord and King is drawing near. O come, let us adore him. Behold, the Lord will appear, and he will not deceive. If he should delay, wait for him to come. He will surely come and will not tarry. Our Lord and King is drawing near. O come, let us adore him. Behold, the Lord will come down like rain upon the fleece of Gideon. Justice will reign and an abundance of true peace. All the kings of the lands will adore him and every nation will serve him. Our Lord and King is drawing near. O come, let us adore him. A child will be born to us, and he will be called God the Almighty. He will sit upon the royal throne of David, his father, and he will hold sway, the sign of his power on his shoulder. Our Lord and King is drawing near. O come, let us adore him. Bethlehem, city of the Most High God, from you will come forth the King of Israel, and he will proceed forth from his eternity 
and he will be greatly praised in the midst of the entire universe. And there will be peace in our land when he will have come. Our Lord and King is drawing near. O come, let us adore him. Let us pray. Hasten, we beseech you, O Lord, do not delay. Grant us the help of supernatural virtue, so that your coming will be a consolation to those who hope in your mercy. You who live and reign with God the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God world without end. Amen. Amen. Let us all stand and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, let us praise Almighty God for the arrival of the promised Savior of all ages. All together, O, o wisdom, wisdom who came from, from the mouth of the Most High, reaching, reaching from, from end to end, and, and ordering all things mightily and sweetly, come and teach us the way of prudence. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, he has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ the Lamb, who ex O wisdom who came, came from, from the, the mouth of the Most High, reaching from end to end, and ordering all things mightily and sweetly, come and teach us the way of prudence. Christ the Lamb, who existed before time, in time and exists for all time, will come to us again. He has been made high priest forever. He is the true king of justice, and his reign will have no end. Reveal to us the mystery of your life, then send us forth to reveal your word over all the earth. You who live and reign with God the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is December 17, and we celebrate the second day of our Christmas Novena. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is Reverend Father Paolo Asprer, SSP. Let us sing the entrance hymn. <laughs> of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, we now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. 
Amen. Let us pray. Creator and Redeemer of the human race, it was your holy will that your word should take flesh in the womb of the ever-Virgin Mary. Look with kindness on our prayers and grant that your only Son, who came to share our human nature, may lead us to share in his divine life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of the Lord. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, shall your brothers praise, your hand on the neck of your enemies. The sons of your father shall bow down to you. Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion recumbent, the king of beasts who would dare roust him. The scepter shall never depart 
from Judah or the maize from between his legs. While tribute is brought to him, and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment, endow the king, and with your justice, the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. The mountain shall yield peace for the people, and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Let us now honor the Holy Gospel. Together, O wisdom of our God Most High, guiding creation with power and love, come to teach us the path of knowledge. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminadab. Aminadab became the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David, the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Asaph, Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah, Uzziah became the father of Jotham, Jotham the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh, Manasseh the father of Amos, Amos the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Shealtiel, Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel the father of Abiud, Abiud became the father of Eliakim, 
Eliakim, the father of Azor. Azor, the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Akim. Akim, the father of Eliud. Eliud, the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Maphan. Maphan, the father of Jacob. Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus, the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning to everyone. And may you have a blessed, a bliss, blissful, and a meaningful uh, celebration of our Misa de Gallo Masses. Okay. <laughs> have you ever asked your mom, your mother, or your mama, or nanay, kung saan kayo pinaglihi? Saan kayo pinaglihi? <laughs> yes, from Manga, actually. Sorry. Ah, mango. Yan. Okay. Sabi nila, totoo daw yung phenomenon ng paglilihi you know, or infanticipation na isang nanay or expectant mom. You know, uh, maraming sinasabi pero hindi dapat lahat paniwalaan. First three months daw ng expectant mom, eh, magkakaroon niya ng hormonal changes. You know? At saka yung nga, uh, Consequence ng hormonal changes eh magugutom yung nanay. Magkakaroon ng cravings. Yung iba, bouts of loneliness and depression. Malaki daw yung epekto nung uh, kinakain ng nanay doon sa qualities nung kanya magiging anak. Tignan nyo nga inyong katabi. Tignan nyo. Sa, tang sa tingin niyo saan sila pinaglihi. O kung, bala, kung mabalahibo daw, pinaglihi sa tamarind. Kung uh, medyo fair-skinned, maaring pinaglihi sa bread o kaya sa milk. Diba? And so on and so forth. I've been asking my mom, sabi ko, Ma, saan mo ko pinaglihi? Sabi niya sa akin, sa lechon paksiw. Hanggang ngayon ho, eh, hindi ko alam Ko ano yung sangkap ng lechon paksiw at ako ho ay naging pare. What is the good news the second day of our Misa de Gallo Mass? We are imperfect. We all have sins. We are imperfect we are born in an imperfect family, but we are conceived in the goodness of God. Ipinaglihi tayo sa kabutihan at kagandahang loob ng Diyos. Narinig natin yung ating ebanghelyo ngayon. Ipinapakilala ng ating Panginoong Yesus ang kanyang pamilya. At makikita nyo ho doon, it's a mixture of saints and sinners, holy people and struggling to be holy. Ano yung number 14? Sa Bible, ang number of perfection, number of fullness and fulfillment is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. Ibig sabihin, twice perfection. Twice the fullness. Ang kapanganakan ng ating Panginoong Yesus, yun ho yung pinaka ganap na nangyari sa sangkatauhan. The birth of Jesus is the fulfillment of the deepest desires of humanity. Fulfillment. Kung titignan natin at babasahin natin yung Biblia, 
yung uh, mga kamag-anak, ancestors ni Jesus, eh talaga namang para huyang uh, teleserye. Ba? Para huyang uh, ang sa iyo ay akin. Mala teleserye. It's not a perfect history. It's a colored history. Consolations, desolations, lights and shadows. Kahit na ho, imperfect ang humanity, ang misteryo ho ng Christmas ni Yakap ng Diyos. God continues to embrace the imperfections of humanity. God continues to embrace the failings and failures of humanity. Wala hong taong masama. Wala hong magulang na masama. Wala hong anak na masama. May mga taong napapasama. Pero wala hong taong masama. May mga taong nagkakamali. May mga taong nagkakasala. May mga magulang nagkakamali sa kanilang maanak. Pero wala hong masamang magulang. Wala hong masamang anak. We are all a mixture of grace and sin, of light and darkness, of virtue and vice, of sincerity and hypocrisy. Lahat po tayo, we are all God's project in progress. At patuloy na niyayakap ng Diyos. Yan po yung misteryo ng Christmas. Ang pagyakap ng Diyos sa sangkatauhan. In spite of its failings, limitations, and sinfulness. Okay lang po ba kayo? Parang hindi ho kayo believe. <laughs> Naniniwala ho ba kayo na kayo ay isang mabuting tao? Yes or no? Pakisabihan mo nga yung katabi, God loves you. Parang hindi kayo kumbinsido. <laughs> Alright? That's the first point. We are born imperfect, but we are conceived in the goodness of God. We are all God's project in progress. Advent Christmas is a season of new beginnings. Magsimulang muli tayo. Second, ang goal natin sa pagiging pamilya, it's not perfection, but it's faithfulness. Wala namang perfectong pamilya. We all have our own messy stories sa ating pamilya. Lahat ng pamilya, gaano man ito kabanal, nakakaranas ng krisis. Even the holy family, holy, holy na sila, has experienced crisis, many crises. Born out of wedlock, Si Jesus ipinanganak sa Sabsaban. Flight to Egypt. They were refugees. Sabi nila sa isang krisis, mas nakikilala mo daw yung character na isang tao. Yung character ng pamilya. On the one hand, crisis can deepen a family's bond, solidarity, empathy, graciousness, forgiveness. On the other hand, a crisis in a family can what? Divide them. Can what? Develop bitterness, unforgiveness, anger, ingit. We have a choice in the face of crisis. Ang importante sa pamilya, magkakasama through thick and thin, in poverty or plenty, 
in sickness or in health. Meron nga akong kaibigan. Sabi niya, alam mo, Father, you know what? Meron akong ka- anak na drug addict. Labas-pasok sa facility. Tatlong beses. But I never gave up on her. On him pala. Ganyan naman talaga mga nanay, di ba? No? And now, her son is a charismatic speaker. Yung pagmamahal ng isang ina has turned the wolf into a witness of God's love. Okay. We all have crisis moments sa pamilya. And we have a choice whether to turn these moments into a breakthrough for the family a new beginning for the family, a lesson for the family. So, our goal natin, it's not perfection, but it's faithfulness. Okay. Ikatlo, we do not allow the wounds, the bitterness, the unforgiveness, the sinful past of our family to determine the future of the family. Okay? Huwag mag-aaway-aaway sa pera. Okay? Sabi nila, huwag nyo daw habulin ang pera. Hayaan nyong habulin kayo ng pera. Ba? Kasi ang pera, mahilig yan magpahabol. Huwag nating hayaan sirain ng pera ang pamilya. Alam natin maraming mga stories. Breakdown of families because of money. Or love for money. Money, riches, wealth, treasures, these are all Fruits of life. Fruits. They're all good. Lalo na pag pinaghirapan mo ang pera. But, family, friends, faith, these are roots of life. For some time, we can manage without fruits, but never without roots. Maraming mabibili ang pera. Money can buy food but not appetite. Money can buy pleasure but not contentment. Money can buy a house but not home. Huwag nating hayaan ang pamilya masira ng uh, masakit na nakaraan. Wounds. Bitterness. Siguro yung mga chikiting ninyo, magtatanong sa inyo, Mami, paano na yan? Wala na tayong Pasko. Wala nang gifts. Wala nang Santa Claus. Kasi si Santa Claus, baka na, <laughs> diba? Nakon siya na lockdown. <laughs> sa North Pole. <laughs> Anong isasagot ninyo? Wala na tayong Pasko, Mami. Ano isasagot ninyo? Anak, we have each other. I have you, and you have me. Christmas is not only about things. Christmas, people. Persons. More than the rap gifts that we have, for our loved ones, for our friends, are the arms of family members and friends following restrictions <laughs> wrap around each other. Siguro tatanungin kayo ng inyong anak, saan ang Pasko, Mami? Daddy? 
Ang Pasko, titignan mo yung mata ng iyong anak, ng iyong tatay, ng iyong nanay. Anjaan ang Pasko. Ang Pasko wala sa pandemya. Ang Pasko nasa mata ng inyong mga anak, ng inyong asawa, ng inyong mga kaibigan. Virtual man yan o physical. With pandemic or without pandemic. Amen. Please stand. We bring our petitions before the Heavenly Father, who in His great love for us has sent His Son, so that we may be saved and come to the knowledge of truth. With confidence we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, embracing saints and sinners alike in her bosom, may strengthen herself by encouraging her children to incessantly pursue the path of penance and renewal, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may allow neither the sins and scandals in our family, life, and in the church, or the corruption in our community and society to overcome the goodness and goodwill in our hearts, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That members of families who are separated by distance, misunderstanding, or apathy may experience homecoming, reconciliation, and togetherness this holy season of Christmas, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our participation in the Misa di Gallio may promote among us a spirituality of communion, making us able to share the joys and sufferings of our brothers and sisters in the community and in the parish, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may be forgiven of their sins and rest in peace in the kingdom of God, we Lord, pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an end to the pandemic, that God may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, and comfort to families, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, you decreed and your word became man, born of the Virgin Mary. May we follow the example of Christ, who humbled himself to save us from our sins. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Kabutihan pag-asa Mga puso'ng tapat Sa ulamin Ay iyong dinggin Galak at kapayapan Nawa ay kampi Itong Lord, God, of all creation, your greatness, your 
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, sanctify the gifts of your church, that through the sacred mysteries our life may be renewed by the true bread from heaven. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. For those who cannot kneel, please put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like to do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await a blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I live you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
as we wait for the day of God's mercy. In silence we wait for Emmanuel to come. In silence we Let us all kneel and pray the Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, we pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. 
Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calunsod, pray for us. Please stand. Let us pray. God of power, you have fed us with heavenly gifts. Fill us now with this desire that the flame with your spirit we may shine like stars in, in the heavens at the coming of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Just a short uh, appeal. We appeal for your uh, generosity to support our Love a Parish program beneficiaries through Stars of Grace. You may visit the booth near the guard post going to Greenbelt Forum. Okay. Right. That's it. So thank you very much for joining us in our Eucharistic celebration. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.